Mike, get your fat ass upstairs this second. Yes? Get your ass tearing down the tree. Put it in the box and put it downstairs in the storage. Okay. Mike. Yeah? If you wreck my tree again, I will kick your face. You hear me? Yes, Dad. I'm done. Get your ass at the table. Okay. Dad, why the heck didn't Mary come to our house for Christmas? Because Mary spent Christmas with her boyfriend. Now Mike, as I was saying before, George will be staying at our house until further notice. If you go in his room for anything, you will get a $500 charge from me. You hear me? But Dad, I want the big bedroom. Why can't George sleep in my room and I get the big room? I don't give a sh what the hell you want or not. You are sleeping in your room whether you like it or not. If you don't respect that, you will be sleeping in my room. You hear me? Don't you even start with me. But Dad, I like it how long and big it is. <laughs> You are grounded for even longer for making excuses. Get your fat ass up before I kick your ass again. Shut the f up, Sam. <laughs> well, guess what, little boy? You are not grounded for another week for telling me to shut up. Get your f***ing ass up, little boy. You hear me? No, I can't hear you a bit. F off, you f little wiener. Well, sir, you are not grounded from your bedroom. I gave you three f***ing warnings to shut your f***ing face. Get your fat ass into my bedroom. You are grounded for two weeks from it. No, Dad. I'm sorry for being a jerk. I'm happy with my room. Too bad. Get your fat ass moving before you get grounded for another month. Dad, can I please have my last chance? Get your fat ass moving in three seconds. Before I kick your fat ass again. Yes, Dad. It's a really big shame it had to come to this. You are grounded from your bedroom for two weeks. You hear me? Yes, Dad. But I don't want to sleep in here. That's too bad, Mike. You should not have disrespected me. If you leave that room, I will kick your ass again and ground your fat ass for another week. Yes, Dad. Hello? What time do you want me there? Right now. Damn it. Well, I gotta give my son a babysitter, and I will be on my way. Alright, sounds good. See you there. George, I have to go to work. I need you to babysit my son. Bring Mike in your room. Okay, sounds good. Are you just jockeying a New Year's party? Yes. Mike, get your ass in here! Mike, George is going to babysit you. If you leave his room for anything, you will get your fat ass kicked. You hear me? Yes, Dad. What are you doing? None of your f***ing business. 
I will be back in about eight hours or more. Ladies and gentlemen, I am DJing a mid-years party. Oh for sake, turn off the f***ing touch tunes. You suck. More like the other way around. Get your ass out of the bar and have a happy f***ing new year. Don't you f***ing talk that way to our customers. But Maria, you decided to wait the very last second to turn off the f***ing touch tunes. I've been waiting for over 10 minutes for you or your bartenders to turn it the f*** off. All you had to do was tell me that you were ready. Don't you ever talk that way to me or my customers again, or else I will have to make you find another place to work. I'm sorry, but you know I got major anger issues. I understand that, but that doesn't give you the excuse to treat people any way you like. Let's not turn this into a big thing. I'm sorry, Maria. Thank you for your apology. You can start playing music. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for being a dick. Anyways, I am rocking you out to the meteor. If anyone would like to hear a song, come talk to me. Dear God, thank you for all of my friends and family. Thank you for this lovely looking McDonald's. And thank you for my dad supporting his family. And Jesus made me men. Mike, get your ass eating your blindness. Dad, I don't want to eat my blindness. What the hell did you put in my food? I put in a last chance. <laughs>
Halloween.